family it's Christy with the box truck couple and in today's video we are going to be talking about our level one inspection babe you ready to do this video <laughs> ain't got no choice <laughs> I, I cracked the whip, you guys. Get on in here. Anyway, we wanted to take a moment to tell you about the level one inspection. Um, it happened on our way to Fort Myers. When was that? Um, when did we go to Fort Myers? You asked me about a date, and you know I don't know nothing about no date. Y'all, he's so, he just acting up. I'm just telling you the truth. That's what y'all want to hear, the truth, right? We picked up Wednesday. We were <laughs> on our way to Fort Myers on Thursday. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. So, we left here about, I guess about 9.30? About 10 o'clock. About 10 o'clock. And we got down the road maybe 15. He, it felt like five. He said it was like 15, 20 minutes. It was the first way station that we got to from our house. And first of all, that way station is never open, right, babe? No, it's never open. It's never well, we open. We ain't never seen it open. Day or night, it is never open. Of course, we did go early. It was earlier. Normally, when we go down that way, it'd be like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning or 1 o'clock in the, in the morning. You know, but even daytime, because I go that way uh, from my mobile home channel to view mobile homes. It's never open. It's always just a bunch of tractor trailers on either side. It's a way station on either side of the highway on 75. What you mean tractor trailer? They parked they up, park. resting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, we're going down the road. Did not expect to be stopped at that way station, but it said all trucks pull in. And so well, we've been on the road five minutes and we got a DOT inspection. First way station they pulled us. It ain't five, been five minutes. It's been more like 15 about minutes. About 15, but you know what I mean. We just got on the road and already we got stopped for DOT inspection. 10 o'clock at night. Full, so full DOT inspection. Full DOT. So we waiting on him to come back with our paperwork. Uh-oh, he gonna call me in. Oh. What you gotta go in for? To get the paperwork. He ain't coming back out here. I don't get it. Oh, he come back out here. I guess he gonna tell us to shut it down. <laughs> Please don't do that. So, we just waiting on that and we'll tell you what happened when we get them. And so, all the trucks were being told to keep going, but when we got to the way station, the guy. <laughs> I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Exactly. Hold up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pointing. Pull over here. Come on over here, man. Come on over here. I'm like, man, what up? What up, did, man? <laughs> he did nothing. I was on my phone. I looked up. I said, oh, Lord, here we go. You took your head that light. Come on. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. Right here. Right here. Right here. Like, oh, man. <laughs> so I immediately grabbed the DOT inspection <clears throat> book. I didn't know what kind of inspection. Now, at that time, I didn't realize, and I know my husband didn't realize that there were several different types, like they had names, levels. Levels of inspection. One, two, three, four, five. Right. There are actually eight levels of inspection. And we're gonna get on the computer a little later in the video and we're gonna talk about those. But <clears throat> we've had three inspections since we have been active. And each one of them has been different. The first one when we got pulled, I was driving and with the rental truck. Yeah, we were in a box truck. We were in a budget rental truck. And the guy was nice. He let, had let me tell you what she tried to do. The, we, the, 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 the trooper stopped us, pulled us over. She pulled in. Okay, so the trooper said, Well, this is not a safe place to be right here. Let's pull on back over Cross Expressway where, where all the truck stops and stuff like that. Area. Right. And again, what she tried to do. Can I let him drive? <laughs> get, the get, reason, no. Get, get, get what he said. No, ma'am, uh, you're the one driving, so, you know, he's, he's not driving. Well, <laughs> the reason... I just said, oh, that lady. <laughs> he knows the reason that I asked that. When the trooper first put the lights on, I got off at the, the very next exit because we were almost to the exit. I made a right. My husband told me to pull into the, make a right and pull into the gas station, and it was tight. 
So when I pulled in, the only option to get out of there was to back out. And what was behind me was gas pumps. And I was afraid. And I told the officer, I said, this is kind of tight. Can I get him to pull us out? And he shut me he down. Said, <laughs> he said, hold up, man. <laughs> he shut me down. So my husband got out and directed me, and it was fine. I mean, I, I mean, you know, if it had been a ticket, not that who was driving, cause it's our company, you know. Right. But you know, the officer was like, trying to throw me up under the bus like no that, man. Right? <laughs> so we pulled out of that gas station and went across the street to another gas station that had a place for truck parking, and it looked like a regular p place for inspections, cause it was like area right there. Yeah, but that's just one of the inspections. Yeah. Continue. So anyway, with that inspection, yeah, thank you, cause I'll ramble. With that inspection. He he did have me do the signal lights, honk which, which the horn. Which inspection you talking about? The first one, the one in Alabama. Oh, okay then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did have me like put the signal lights on, uh, you know, left signal, right signal. He did a walk light. around the truck, you know what yeah, I mean? Examine the truck and everything like that, you know what I mean? I, Not really examining. Yeah, he, yeah, was he just did. He like examined looking. the truck. Oh, he examined the truck. He looked up on it, looked at the tire, oh, looked did? at the back. Yeah, I looked didn't see up him at the lights. He said, turn your lights on, all of that yeah, right now. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Honk the horn, yeah. all of that stuff. And then he looked at our paperwork and our ELD. Right, right. And he went to the car and came back and we had a violation, but it wasn't anything that could take us out of commission. As a matter of fact, the only violation we had was not our fault. The violation was this large crack in the window. So well, it wasn't a large crack. It was a long crack. A long. It was just a it crack. Was large too. No, it was, it was long. Wide. It was long. It was just a crack if across I had a the windshield. Of crack, it wasn't it was like on the big old crack in the windshield no, and all it, that. But it was wide as far. It was as long. Long crack. You're not understanding what I'm saying, sir. Okay, but you said the saying, crack wasn't like a little thin line. It was pretty deep. Yes, it, yes, it was. It was a little thin. Line. I'm gonna find a picture of the crack well, and put okay, it on the okay. screen, and y'all tell me. Okay, so that was the first inspection. The second inspection we ever had, he was driving. We were in North Carolina, went through a way station, the same deal. The officer told us to pull over. He didn't look at any of that stuff on the truck. It was a what did he call it? A paper inspection or something? It was an a inspection on him. So he he wanted to make sure all his paperwork was right. He looked at, he wanted to see the um, registration, which we didn't have because we were in our, well, our well, box truck. Now, I don't remember that one. I remember getting pulled over. North Carolina. We had just bought that truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we pulled it to the waste station. Yeah. Right, right, right. I had to go on the phone and find the bill of sale that the owner, um, right. because we didn't have a registration and we told him we just bought it. So right. we had to, I had to go in my email and find the bill of sale in the other guy's name. And, um, and, you know, just want to see paperwork, DLT medical card, uh, yeah, certificate he, of insurance, yeah, all of that stuff. He was concerned about that paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. And then and he let e, us go in the, a few and minutes. And the, and the ELD? He looked at the e Did he even look at the ELD? Uh, Barely. Uh, well, he asked about it. You yeah, know what I mean? but so, he didn't really, like, go through it like the, the first guy in this last one. But this inspection right here that we just had... When he said we're gonna do a level one inspection and I am going, he he was talking kind of fast. He was on his side. But you know when he was talking to me, he was a little young guy, man. I was yeah. like, man, this dude ain't no more than around about. He wasn't thirty. I'm talking, he had the pistol on, man, the vest on, all the. Oh, I'm like, man, I was like, man, they got right here, but thirty. How he gonna give me an inspection? <laughs> <laughs> but get what I said. Yes, sir. You yes, know, sir? sir. Okay, sir. But he was cool though, man. It was a cool black he, guy, man. He was I'm talking thorough. about an officer. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was thorough. You know, he was smiling all the time, man. Yeah, yeah he was cool, dude. Yeah. He was cool, yeah. though. And, and and we'll get into that in a second, and you'll see how he was so cool. But he was thorough. Yeah, yeah. He wanted, he, he was going to do a thorough job, but he was more on the side of uh, doing a I'm thorough not job. Trying to get you in no I'm truck. trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to help you, you know, let you put you up on game, make sure your truck all right, yeah. man, so you know you can keep going and you ain't gotta worry about nobody else stopping you. So you know he was he was he was on point. I like guy man. Yeah. Officer Felton. Felder. Felton. Felder. Felton? Felton. Yeah. Felton. Yeah. Felton. Yeah. Officer Felton was really nice, but it, he was talking to him in the beginning and I didn't quite get what he was saying. What he was saying was he kept our book. 
We handed him the whole DOT book. He asked us to send our logs. Normally, the DOT guy will ask about the ELD and we'll just pull it up on the phone and hand it to him and he'll go in DOT inspection mode. But this officer want us to actually send the logs and he he didn't want them emailed, he want them sent through the system. Right. We had and never the, done that. And the reason he wanted to do that was because he was doing a level, level one, one inspection. Yeah. I ever, all the information that he gained from us and asked from us was being transferred into the system of the DOT. Right. I guess that's DOT. Well, he he was the type of inspector that was certified to give us that SEVA decal. And so that decal that, that he put on our truck, all of that is done a different way. You have to be certified to be able to do that. But we'll get into that. I did some research. Well, well she'll get into that. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to get ready to uh, go cut. He's not going to be alone, so we got to hurry up. So anyway, normally we would just pull up the Keep Trucking app and hand it to the officer, and they would go into DOT inspection mode and look at what they need. But he wanted us to physically do it. So we could have... I, we had a D, um, keep trucking reference card in the DOT compliance book, but we actually asked him, how do you do that? And he notated that on our Yeah, paperwork. yeah, he notated that. Yeah, so that he was a, showed us. That was like a ding. Yeah, but he notated it that yeah. we didn't know how to do it. And then right. later. Yeah, we're supposed to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it's that really was not a lesson that, learned. Yeah, it's not that hard to do. The three no. lines, then the DOT, then whatever you ask for, it's like three categories. Do you want to send it here, here, yeah. here, or and something like that? And we picked like the one that they asked for. Right. So we had it on the DOT reference card. We just didn't use it. So that was the first ding. That and was a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. And then the stuff that he asked us for, all of it was in the DLT compliance binder. So I handed the binder to my husband. Well, Officer Felton got the binder and didn't give it back. When he went inside, he took it with him, didn't he? Yeah, he took it with him. He took it with him. Yeah, so he looked through all that paperwork. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's we're not trying to say do this, but if you it's got paper, if you got paperwork, you know what I mean. You want to keep it in a binder so you ain't got to be looking all through the cab yeah. up on the seats and everything. You know, yeah. trying to pull out paperwork. So yeah, if you want to know how to do that, or because they'll look at know, you crazy, and you if you ain't got all that stuff in order, they'll look at you crazy yeah. when they ask for it. And you, you can't be fumbling and looking for it. That's what I felt. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they don't. But I, I mean. So if you want to know how to do it, if you have any questions about how to get a how to put the binder together what goes in the binder maybe you're just getting started just look up in the i card above we've already made a video about it and i also have links down in the description box you can click on that links and go to my amazon store and you can purchase the binder and the sheets that go inside the binder make it pretty easy for you one thing that we didn't have in our binder that I, you know we, i'm almost ashamed that we didn't have it in the binder because we have plenty of them is the paper logs. You guys, you gotta keep paper logs in your truck. It's They're, a requirement. It's DOT a requirement. requirement yeah. So that went on our paperwork. And I didn't think that was important because of the, because of the tracking of the ELD. ELD. Yeah. But he wanted to see this because yeah. he was doing a level one inspection. Others have asked us, do we have them? And yeah, we do have them. We just didn't have any in the truck. And at one point we did. I think I just took it out because it just kept sliding all over the place. But you guys, this is uh, what the driver, what a copy of the driver log looks like. If you want to get them on Amazon, uh, I'll, the link is in the description box. If not, you can, I, I saw these in the truck stop. They are in the truck stop for like $3. Okay. okay. So, it's real important and it's got, um, I don't know how many, but it's a whole book of paper logs. You only need to keep like eight days worth, but this is a whole book that you can just slide in your compartment. So, that was a ding, uh, but it wasn't anything minor. He didn't hold that against us. He told us he was going to go inside, pull our information up in the system. He was going to come out and do the inspection. And then when we were done, he would call us on the inside. And so he was gone for what, maybe 10 or 15 minutes? Uh, he was gone for like five minutes. Uh, then he came back out, did the, did the inspection around about, you know, blinkers, uh, bright lights, uh, dimmers, 
You saying it like it was just a few uh, things he did. That man all but got into the hood. <laughs> windshield wipers working, windshield fluid working. Um, he went around the side and he asked me, well, when he was at the door, he asked me, did the cluster work, you know, the speedometer, mm -hmm. mileage, all of that work. You know, he didn't get inside and look at it, but he asked me, did it work? Was it illuminated? Uh, then he walked down the side of the driver's side of the truck, looked at the tires, shook the drive shaft, um, looked at the U-boats U that holds the uh, cab down to the frame of the truck. Uh, he saw that one of the U-clamp bolts, uh, you know, had just a little dent in it. He just said, a little. He said you might want to get take a, you know, take a look at that. You know what I mean? He didn't and, put it on our paperwork though. No. And then he went to the back of the truck and did the same thing: left single, right single, emergency flashers, uh, brake lights. I came back on the passenger side. You know, looked at all the illuminating lights and things. Went on the inside. Uh, well, no, he didn't go on the inside. He just told me that, uh, he said, let me show you what, what I got on you. He showed Hold me. Hold on, you forgot something. What was that? He lifted the hood of the truck. Oh, yeah, he lifted the hood he of the truck. He all but got in yeah, there. Yeah, he he all but got inside of there, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, let the hood up and he checked for any type of leaks. Yeah. Uh, he saw if the stirring mechanism was... Uh, he was having them operating, turn the steering wheel operating, all the way this way. Do it like this. Operating properly, he had me turn the steering wheel right, and he made sure that the, that that the uh, he looked down at the brakes on the inside, the hoses, and made sure that Everything. no 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 power stirring fluid was skiing out. Mm -hmm. Any of the hoses did it to the did it to the left and did it to the right. Uh, mm -hmm. Just shine this light around and make sure. What no it means by that is he did it on on the driver's side first, and and we have video. You'll see it. Then he came around to the passenger side and did all that again on the passenger side. Yeah. He did it on the right side and the left side. Mm -hmm. So so uh, all of that fitted up, it worked out pretty good. And uh, he went on the inside and started no. checking the logging. Nope, one more thing. What? We had a seal on our truck, you guys. We had a load, we had a load of tires and he wanted us to break the seal. Remember? He wanted to see on the inside of it. Yeah, he the, wanted to see what we were carrying. What the load looked like. And we, reason, reason being is that that load is supposed to be secured uh, so it doesn't, so that when you open the door, it doesn't, it's, it's not, it's not, nothing falling in off, off that trailer, off the end of that door. And guess what happened when he opened the door? A few tires <laughs> fell out. <laughs> but the officer just laughed. We were concerned. I was concerned because our BOL says that they have to break the seal, the receiver. Like the seal cannot be broken, but the officer explained, and I think it's on video, that uh, federal law, if they tell us, didn't he say that, babe? If they tell yeah, us, yeah, they got the right to go ahead on and break the yeah. seal from what he said. The law, the law, do it's regular tires on there too, but we had a lot of those this time. I wanted them to see what happened. Watch out, baby. So they gave us a new seal, and we're gonna keep the one that we got from the company. DOT. So on the DOT inspection sheet, he put the old seal number and the seal that he gave us, he put that seal number so we had proof. But when my husband opened it, some of the tires fell and we he had to rearrange them and put them back. Like about three tires fell out. Yeah. Man. One tire fell out really. Like, I think it was one tire on the ground. So I don't know. We got it on video. But he told us before he went out inside about some the lights on the back of our truck. You want to tell yeah. about the lights? Yeah. That's all. So the only, so he saw this U joint was bent. Right. Okay. When it be overweighted. Okay. Then he talked about, he said, you're gonna put your tag right there, you gotta have a light right now. Okay. And that light needs to That be. one light, okay. Other than that, he said the U. Okay. Put on their mask. No, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, that's why I called in. I'm finished with the inspection, but it took longer because we got to look at the law through. Okay. But let me show you. 
All right, you guys, we pulling out of the uh, way station where we got pulled for the DOT inspection. We got a clear DOT. We did have a couple of violations as you could see from the, put your window up, babe. As you could see from the previous clips, we've got one light out on the, what do you call the back it's of the? It's a, it's a, what's it, the cab, what's it, the The, the, the box. The, the box. At the top of the roll-up door, it's what, four lights? Three lights. Three lights, and one of them is out. Um, and then we don't have a light over our license plate. And then the U-boat. Yeah, the U-boat, we got big U-boat. We got one of our U-boats is big. He gave us a decal. This is the decal. He put it on the front of our uh, windshield so that we can show the next way station all the way to our stop that we got a level one. We passed a level one uh, inspection. Yeah. Got those fixed. She gonna show you about it and she gonna tell you about everything else. I gotta go. <laughs> So we feel really good about the inspection. And so we wanted, we thought it was important to tell you what happened to us on this inspection because it doesn't happen every day, you guys. But there are more than one type of inspection. And so the next part of this video. Y'all better keep them truck going right. <laughs> you got to. They're gonna shut you down. <laughs> you got to. Oh, here. No, they're gonna shut us on, down. Hold on, babe. Here's one thing. Remember what he said? He said. The average officer could have shut us down for each thing. So we could have got, um, and what he meant by shut down is they could shut you down for 10 hours. So, and if it's two drivers in the truck, each one of them could be shut down for 10 hours. So it wasn't like he was driving and he got shut down, but I could drive. No, both of us. He, he said they could find you. Right. A ticket for that. That too. That's the main That's thing. The, <laughs> main. thinking about the money. But he expressed that for that that light at the top, we could have been shut down. And then another shutdown for the light over the tail light. Or if multiple things were found, you could be fined and shut down for each one of them. And he didn't use the term shut down. He said, put you out of service. And he said, with the amount of things that you have, you could really be put out of service for 10 hours. And it doesn't have to be one 10 hours. It could be for each thing. So we feel really fortunate that he was a good guy and he saw that we really had everything intact in the truck but those were minor things anyway let's get into the different types of inspections and then lastly after we talk about the different types of inspections we're going to show you how you can uh pass a level one inspection 